Hi, welcome back to Take 5, your daily five-minute piano workout. I'm Scott Houston. Um, I say this every time, so those of you that are with me, I apologize, but I just, I, I'm so afraid people are going to drop into this that have never seen one of these before. So if that's you and you haven't seen one of these long sequenced numbered videos that we're doing here, please go to, there's a link in the description below to see the intro to this whole process and it'll explain what we're doing. And it will tell you that these are just finger aerobics. It's no deep piano lesson. It's not intended to be. It's not fun. It's boring. But the great news, it's only five minutes a day. Ha ha! All the fun stuff actually takes place over at pianoandaflash.com. But this is a great habit to get into to just kind of get your workout in for the day. All right, so let's get in front of your piano or keyboard and dig right in for today's take five. Let's get to the other hand shot here. Okay. Um, we are continuing. We only have two more of this. We've been doing a 12-day cycle of working through the same pattern, starting on a, a new note every day. So today, those of you that are with me, we only have two more, and then we will be out of this pattern and onto something new. Uh, this we're on B flat major now, though. B flat major chord. Okay, so it's B flat, D, F. Those are the three notes. I'm not going to use those fingers. I'm going to go ahead and play this, play the way we have been doing it. So it's B flat, D. F. So get that. So you're going to start it. The anchor to start it is always the top note out of the three black notes. I mean, if you need kind of a, a guidepost to jump in on when you're, you know, working your way up, just that, that's something to think about. Now, I will also say on this one and give everybody a heads up, it, this is, I think, probably the toughest one out of the 12, just because it, the black note is the first one, and then the other two are white. So instead of it, which doesn't really follow your it's it's hard when you've got some white notes with the black one being a first one because your pinky and your um, thumb are shorter than the other note, so you're you're going to be a little bit turned. But it's going to be decent for the agility. In the real world, we probably would finger this differently. I don't know how I would do it, but for for this case, let's just stick with what we've been doing because again, we're just trying to. This is like yoga, right? We're just trying to get our hands worked out. So let's stick with the same thing and just use pinky, middle finger, and thumb. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and dig in. You guys know the pattern by now, I hope. If not, you can go back a few um, go back a few uh, days or 11 days, I guess it would be, and see the original thing. Let me get my timer going for five minutes. We are there. Here comes a metronome. We are off and rolling, folks. Here we go. One, ready, play. So as always, first was just quarter notes, one per beat up a couple octaves, that hand crossover. Now we're going to double that speed to eighth notes. We're going to do this four octaves. And cap it off on top. Now here comes triplets. One, two, three. 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 Now sixteenth notes. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Then we do solid chords at the end. I about started over at the beginning. Whew. Okay, now we start. I'm going to warn you that I'm likely going to be making some mistakes today. Just for target practice and accuracy reasons, this one's, maybe it's just me, this one's the toughest of them all to me. Lock it in your brain by playing the solid chords. And your brain says, ah, so that's what all these separate notes are. It's that chord. Now also, look at how far forward my hands are, right? I'm playing way up. Sorry, I don't want to stop the pattern. But see how far toward that, you know, the, the away from me part of the piano is, the fall board is? And that's because my pinky is shorter. So the only way I can get over it easily is to push my hand forward. So there, and what 
that ends up doing is, you know, your fingers are going to fall between some black notes, like all the way up here, and that's a good thing. Some people, beginners, have this tendency to think they have to play white notes way out on the edge, like they have to do this, you know, like this, and then it gives you fits. The reality is, you know, you can play these white notes way up between the black notes, and that's what you need to do to to not have your hand all wrenched on this one. flat major chord. You are locking the shape of this chord into your noggin and you will never forget it. By shape, I mean the fact that this one is black note on the bottom two white notes on top. Two, repeat. Let's do one more. We've got about 15 seconds left, so we'll go over, but feel good about ourselves today. Last time through. Let's really try to make this one accurate. Eighth notes. Nice work, everybody. Good job today. Oop, get that turned off. Have a great rest of your day. Come back tomorrow. We'll just do another quick five of this, this hard, drudgerous stuff, right? And we'll get your piano workout in. Have a good rest of the day.